Good to see you again. Hope that you're ready to open God's Word with me today. Uh, we're continuing in the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus' longest and most famous sermon. Uh, we're going to read the portion in Matthew chapter 5, beginning in verse 17 today. Jesus said, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I, I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. For truly I tell you, until heaven and earth disappear, not the smallest letter, not the least stroke of a pen, will by any means disappear from the law until everything is accomplished. Therefore, anyone who sets aside one of the least of these commands and teaches others accordingly will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever practices and teaches the, these commands will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I tell you that unless your righteousness surpasses that of the Pharisees and the teachers of the law, you will certainly not enter the kingdom of heaven. This section is essential to understanding what Jesus is teaching here through Matthews chapter 5, 6, and 7. Really essential to understanding Jesus' entire ministry on earth. He's come to fulfill the law. What does that mean? He's come to show us what God intended when he gave the law. You see, the law, as Paul makes clear in the uh, letter to the Galatians, the law is not sinful. The Old Testament law is not wrong in any way. It's the way people use the law. It's the way people understand the law. It's the way people take the law and use it as a tool to hold people down or discourage them or, 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 or control them. God's law is perfect, and Jesus shows us how to follow that law. And we're going to get a number of examples uh, in the coming passages about how we actually live this out in practice. But what we have to grasp here is that Jesus shows us how to follow the law, and in doing so, how to live perfectly. Not that we can accomplish it here on earth, but Jesus shows us the standard and the way that it is done. That's who I want to follow. I hope you do, too. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for revealing your desire and your path for us, showing us the law through your Son so that we might live lives in your righteousness and not in our own. Help us never to misuse your law, never misuse your word, but interpret it and live it out through the words of Jesus, the example of Christ, so that we might be the people you've called us to be, created us to be, and desire for us to be. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>